<laughs> My work focuses primarily on developing adaptive technologies for learning and communication based on AI um, artificial intelligence techniques. Children interact with echoes through a large multi-touch screen. Um, they can through through the screen they can manipulate objects. They can they can explore the the environment, uh, which is basically a, a magic garden. Um, they can also interact with the semi-autonomous agent called Andy. Uh, Andy acts as a peer to, to to children, and he he tries to actively engage children in specific activities. When we worked with the children in ECHOES, we worked with both typically developing children and children with autism. It's been absolutely crucial for us to work with Topcliff in the school environment, in the school context, in the real world. Because through doing that, we were able to find out about children's learning in the classroom in a way which meant that we could apply what they were learning in ECHOES to what was happening more broadly in the classroom. And through communicating regularly with the teachers, the teachers gained real insights into the potential learning processes of the children, but also they gained some real insights about children's capabilities within the ECHOES learning environment. We found things um, through this almost a diagnostic tool as it became, um, that the children were doing and we, we'd never realised that they had these skills because some of them are so locked in. The normal curriculum that we were offering them, slightly modified obviously, um, wasn't allowing them to demonstrate these skills to us. We watched um, one or two children playing with the images on the screen in ways in which none of the typically developing children had done. The children with autism would play in a really relaxed state, manipulating Andy in a way that would make them laugh and was perhaps a little obtuse, perhaps they thought it was naughty, um, in perhaps almost the opposite of what they were expected to do. And the fact that they were able to sit and play without any judgement um, allowed them to have opportunities which they hadn't had before. The ECHOES project means to the school that it raises aspirations for, the, for all the community, it raises aspirations for the children, it raises aspirations for staff, it gives them greater opportunities to learn and understand the pedagogy of how children learn and actually to improve their progress, which is what we're all about. The whole school is based around self improving and continually analysing and reflecting our own practice and the ECHOES project has helped us do that not just for autistic children but also for our mainstream children they're the ones really have all equally benefited from the project. We're really excited because the collaborations that we've developed within ECHOES in the team and also with Topcliffe Primary School and other schools is now being extended so we've got follow-on funding from the Economic Social Research Council to continue working with ECHOES and three other technologies to look at how those can be embedded and used in the classroom more effectively. And the tools that we have delivered, and this is, this is actually the, um, the ECHOES environment as a research tool, are absolutely crucial because they provide us with very fine-grained objective measure of, of how children are interacting with the environment. And this data can be used by researchers, by practitioners, um, by intervention experts, and it can be analysed and it can, the, the knowledge from this can be fed back to, to both practice and, and theory.